So since the BMW 1M arrived on our fleet last June, it's done this. And this. And this. After 14,000 miles and nine months in this crazed bulldog of a car, you could say we're sad to see it go. But apart from squaring up to the Cayman R and spending half its time doing this kind of thing, what else have we liked about the 1M? And have there been any downsides along the way? The good bits involve pretty much anything that happens when you're in the move in this car. I mean, the engine might be turbocharged and somehow not in keeping with the culture of a proper M car, but it's an absolute monster on the move. I mean, if you didn't know this engine was turbocharged, I don't reckon you'd guess because the throttle response and the power delivery and the whopping great hit of torque you get is just amazing. It just feels so natural, so un-turbocharged. I also just love the way this car handles. I mean, it might not be as pure and incisive as a Cayman, and it definitely doesn't have as much grip, but over the last nine months, I've come to realise that that actually might not be a bad thing. I mean, get a load of this. Downsides. Well, you do tend to get stared at whether you like it or not in a 1M, which is something the Valencia orange paint scheme does not a lot to alter. The front seats also seem to have developed a mind of their own when you climb in and out of the rear. For some reason, the memory function's gone. And if you drive it at all hard, don't expect much in the way of economy. The best we saw in nine months was about 27 mpg, the worst, 16. I'm being honest, the ride quality is pretty poor on UK roads too, but that did improve a lot when we put these on, which is a set of 18 inch Michelin Pilot winter tires. But bear in mind that they do add 1,900 pounds to the price. In the end, I guess we were always going to love our time with the 1M. It's that kind of car, after all. But maybe the best realisation of all after 14,000 miles in Y11 GOX is not merely that it's a great car, it's that it's a great M car. And that makes it very special indeed. Gonna miss you, old friend. Best of luck whoever you get next.